In this episode, my top 10 exercises for 2017. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome, everyone, to episode 244 of The Daily Mother Swole. Daily Mother Swole. I flex, you flex, we all flex, all biceps. <laughs> I love that. I love that shit. Welcome, everyone, to The Swole Normous Podcast, Daily Swole, episode 244. Thanks for watching on Facebook Live every day at 12 noon Eastern time. Thanks for watching on YouTube and listening in to the most massive podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes. You can catch every single episode on SoundCloud and iTunes. So, man, if you can't sit here and watch at 12, I get it. If you can't concentrate by watching on YouTube, I get it. But, but, you can get every episode in your ears when you're doing anything at the gym, when you're at uh, doing the dishes, when you're cooking, when you're mowing the lawn, when you're shoveling snow. I don't have to worry about that shit, but you might, and you can listen to The Daily Swole. Uh, There's a lot of great stuff coming soon to the podcast in addition to The Daily Swole, so I highly recommend that you follow me and lock into me on iTunes and or SoundCloud. That way you can... um, get all the latest, the deets. This episode is titled, you ready for this? What a treat. My top 10 exercises for 2017. These are not necessarily in order of importance, but there are 10 super, super, super duper pooper important exercise that you should all do at some point in your routine. And I'm going to give a little bit of a a little bit of a why. I'm not sure why I said why, but I'm not sure why I announced, enunciated that way, but let's do it again. I'm going to tell you why each one, like a main reason. And then the last couple I'm going to break down physically uh, and explain in more detail in premium. We're going to get into that a little bit more uh, detail because the last three need a little bit more explanation. So that's going to be uh, for premium afterwards. So those of you that are new to this broadcast, you can get a lot more out of your fitness with Swanormous Premium. You can click sign up at the top of my page or go to my website, swanormous.com to sign up for premium to get a little bit more fucking gains, get accountability and get some more program design. There's a lot of stuff going on in premium, especially this week that's ramping up into this new year. So let's jump right into the exercises. Number one exercise. Number one is incline dumbbell press. So this is a chest exercise, and of course, it's a compound movement that you're working your shoulders and your triceps. The reason why I like the incline dumbbell press is the great range of motion reduces pressure on the shoulder, and it is a fantastic uh, open chain exercise that anyone can do and anyone can adjust accordingly to meet their knees uh, going heavier in weight, going lighter in weight. So first one, incline dumbbell press. Number two is a squat, dumbbell, barbell, doesn't matter. I personally prefer the front squat. It's basic, it's heavy, it's functional, and it builds mass. And when you're building and increasing testosterone production uh, as a female, as a male, on a large scale over the course of the, you know, over the entire body, stimulating larger muscle groups, you are going to stimulate more muscle growth overall. Number three, deadlifts. The more muscle you're activating, the better it is for a system. You need to do large macro movements, especially those of you that are just getting into fitness. You need to think on a large scale. So deadlifts are going to be a major component to anyone's routine. You can go lighter. You can do partials. This includes every variation of a basic deadlift that you can think of. So deadlifts are my number three. Remember, they're not in order, but they're my number three. Number four, you might be surprised by this one, the ab wheel. If you've seen those ab wheels, what... I can't tell you right now, or I can't show you right now, is how to do an ab wheel. Ab wheel can be one of the best abdominal exercises as a dynamic, kind of isometric plank movement. It's great for range of motion. It's great for control. 
most people, I would say about 99% of people that do the ab wheel do it incorrectly. It's one of the cheapest things to buy. It might be five or 10 bucks at your local sporting goods store. One of the best exercises, one of the most commonly done incorrectly, but ab wheel is one that you should be adding if you do it properly to your routine in 2017. Number five, the Floor Cobra. Talked about this yesterday, especially in premium. I do have an exclusive video on the Floor Cobra to activate the middle lower trapezius, reduce shoulder pain, warm up the upper body, improve posture in the upper back. The Floor Cobra is a fantastic activator and stabilizer that comes in at number five that you all should be doing huge, small, beginner, expert. The Floor Cobra is an absolute must-have. Usually gets hit a lot during yoga, too. This is a common yoga move, uh, but fantastic exercise. Number six, the Romanian deadlift, the stiff leg deadlift. This exercise can be done with dumbbells. It can be done with barbells. It is a hip activator. It does hit the hamstrings. It really works the glute hamstring tie-in. It is a great hip hinge exercise. And any workout, any proper workout should revolve largely around the hips and around the glutes and the stiff leg Romanian deadlift. That's a little redundant, but you can call it the RDL. You might see it as stiff leg deadlift. You might see it as RDL. Done with a bar, done with dumbbells, doesn't matter. One of the best exercises you can do for your entire body as well as isolating the hip hinge and focusing on the glutes. Number seven, the weighted hip bridge. You could do this with no weight. It's a great stabilizer, great activator. You could also add dumbbells and modify this with a barbell and other types of foot and knee placements to crush the glutes. It's an isolation, but it's a powerful movement that can add mass to your hips. Doing isolation exercises, we talked about pre-fatigue uh, in the last couple days, doing isolation before you do compound. I believe yesterday we had this conversation, doing cable crossovers or doing a dumbbell fly before doing a compound movement like a bench press or a mach you know a dumbbell bench press or a barbell bench press doing isolation turns on the muscles gets those neurons firing so when you do the compound movements you don't have to go as heavy and you'll get better focus on those areas that you're trying to same thing with the glutes if you isolate the glutes you're going to improve your squat you're going to improve your deadlift you're going to improve those multi joint movements, those compound movements. So hip bridges, especially weighted, super important. Uh, these last three I'm going to talk about in premium after this broadcast. The conversation is going to continue over in premium. Number seven, pull-up negatives. Pull-up negatives, yes, pull-ups are great. Pull-up negatives are going to be your ticket in 2017 where you can overload the muscles. You can add resistance. You can help yourself do a pull-up if you can't do a pull-up regularly. So this is something that will help you get to do a pull-up. If you're already struggling, this is how you will become someone that can do a pull-up without any assistance. If you are struggling to get more than five pull-ups or more than 10 pull-ups or more than 20 pull-ups or put on some more mass in your back, pull-up negatives are the way to go. And all the ways you can manipulate pull-up negatives, that is absolutely clutch. Going to talk about that after in premium. Number nine, 90-degree triceps extension done with dumbbells. You can do this. Uh, I actually have a video of this on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash swolenormous. It's called 90 degree triceps with the elbows out to the side with dumbbells. There's a couple ways to modify this move, but a lot of people have elbow tendonitis and issues with their elbow when it comes to uh, skull crushers commonly. And this is a great way to reduce tension in the elbow, reduce tension in, you know, so you don't get uh, medial epicondylitis or lateral epicondylitis. It reduces tension around the elbow joint, but still hits the belly of the triceps. And it really is a must have and doing it properly is super important. Remember a lot of these exercises, it's not about the weight. It's about the form and it's about adding them to a breadth of exercise in your program. So keep that in mind. And number 10 is the side dumbbell iso hold. If you know what a side raise is, you're raising your arms out to the side, it's a very basic exercise, but doing this movement with an isometric hold, burning out at the end, dropping the weight, doing longer holds, and then isolation, extreme, extreme, constricted, super strict repetitions after that isometric hold. The last three, the pull-up negatives, the 90-degree triceps, and the side dumbbell iso hold, I'm going to break down immediately after this broadcast in premium. Top 10 exercises for 2017, incline dumbbell, squat deadlifts, the ab wheel, ooh, floor cobra, 
Romanian deadlifts, also known as a stiff leg deadlifts, weighted hip ridge variations, pull-up negatives, 90-degree triceps, and side dumbbell ISO hold with super constrict supersets. This is a hell of a list. You're getting massive with this list. You're also carving, creating shape, creating aesthetics, improving core stabilization, improving posture, and you're hitting the most important muscles in the entire body that will help reduce pain, increase overall power, improve strength and compound movements. It's a general list. It's not everything that you could possibly do. You know, oh, but you forgot this. Yeah, it's a list of 10. I could stand here for seven hours listing off all the greatest exercises and how to do them, but I'm not going to. This list cuts down 10 amazing exercises that you need to be implementing in some regard in 2017. Do you have to do each one of these every day? Of course not. That's ridiculous. But you need to start pushing these movements in order to help all your training. The isolation movements are going to help your compound movements. The compound movements are going to help your overall muscle mass and your fat um, metabolism. The core exercises are going to improve your posture. These will cover a vast array of issues and concerns for the majority that will watch this broadcast. So I encourage you to not only implement these, but to follow me over into Solnormous Premium, where I will be breaking down pull-up negatives, 90-degree triceps extensions, and breaking down that side dumbbell isometric hold so all of you can take your shit to the next level. So Swolnormous Premium, I will see you in a couple moments uh, to break down those three exercises. At the end, I will be announcing the winner from yesterday's giveaway for the Kegel shirt on my Snapchat story. So if you're not following me on Snapchat, make sure you add me and check out my story today for the winner. And don't worry, if you won and you don't have Snapchat, I will be messaging you here on Facebook to let you know. I'm not going to just make it, you know, force everyone to, to download Snapchat, but a lot of you do have Snapchat. And if you're not following me there already, that's where I do all my updates, my latest posts for what's going on with Swonormous, what things I just posted, if there's a video that went online on YouTube, or if I'm doing a certain exercise, I'm breaking it down in premium. I'm usually posting in, in, on Snapchat, giving you the latest timeline and what updates and what I'm doing for today's Daily Swole, what I'm doing tomorrow, what you can expect if there's a, a new thing posted on Instagram or anything new like that I'm doing with the audio podcast. There's a lot of shit coming. So make sure you check me out on Snapchat. That's a great real-time source for Swolnormous information. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 244 of The Daily Mother Swo. Thank you for joining me for this episode on the Swolnormous podcast. I flex, you flex, we all flex our biceps. Bam! God. You know what it's like? Do you have any idea what it's like to flex and just look in the camera and see your biceps just growing? I just grew an inch and a half. That's a record for me. That's a new record. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Thanks for watching on Facebook Live, YouTube, and listening on the SoundCloud and iTunes podcast. Deuces. Peace. I will see all of you tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern time for 2.45. Laters. <laughs>